Hey guys, Key One Reviews, it's Vinny. And this is Joseph. We wanted to talk a little bit about something a lot of people are talking about and a lot of viewers saw, which was that little smirk at the end of Super Episode 98, where Universe 9's Angel had this like weird smile, like he was happy that his universe was gone. And then at the very end of the episode, we see uh, the main angel, the great priest, also have like a little bit of a smirk and so people are like going crazy about this and saying to themselves what you know the angels they're planning something and this is uh this is gonna be this big plot uh against the omni kings and it's this cool thing that's gonna go down now i'm not necessarily saying it's that uh, i don't know if toriyama is that smart to do something like that i mean it, if, it's pretty bold uh idea to be able to come up with this huge storyline of what people are thinking here and i just don't know if he's bold enough to go that far of overthrowing the uh omni kings like this it's it's biblical in a sense i mean it almost has a biblical tone to it like we have this great like this god right now the omni king is like this god of destruction almost to be honest with you but he is the supreme god above all, all others supposedly and the angels are possibly looking to overthrow him somehow by using this tournament plot, which somehow Goku was the guy who started it off, but yet they're like orchestrating it and had figured out that by destroying universes, they'll be able to take out the Omni King somehow and the angels are rising up above a god. I mean, there's a lot of hypotheticals involved in this and a lot of weird little scenarios sort of biblically related. Guys, I don't know if that's actually happening and I know there's been a lot of commentary about it, but it takes a lot of suspension of other things that have been happening to believe that's the case. I'm not saying it's not the case and it would kind of be cool if it was the case somehow cool. and then Goku and the remaining like maybe the pride troopers and some of the under other universes that are still alive maybe the other universes are are involved in the plot the ones that aren't involved in the tournament you know what I'm saying I don't know but there's a lot that goes involved in that if that's what Toriyama is really planning out I mean I, I just don't see it I just think I think honestly the reason he probably did it we both agree is, is most likely maybe that he didn't really like his universe. I mean, the problem is with this whole idea is it could be as something as simple as that, that he just didn't like his universe, and that's why he smirked. Maybe he hated the Supreme Guy. We hated the Supreme Guy also because he was really annoying. God, that Supreme Guy sucked. <laughs> he just was horrible. And and let's keep in mind, guys, what is the job of the angels, right? The job of the angels is to oversee the gods of destruction. Their main priority is to make sure that the gods of destruction understand their job and they have mentoring within their destructive capabilities. I'm sure after how many years of, you know... <laughs> of doing his duty that he just got probably sick and tired of his universe maybe his supreme kai maybe the god of destruction of universe 9 and he was just tired of them as an angelic being and he just was happy to see them gone he's still around none of them are all right i'm single now you know that sort of a thing uh so maybe he just was happy that they were gone and uh, that was it you know the simple the simple thing is the real thing so yeah. and then also going with the great priest maybe the only reason he was smiling is because he's just happy that finally somebody got eliminated and that the omni king was happy with the progress of the tournament and he and the great priest he's the guy he he kind of like counsels the omni king a little bit right yeah so maybe he's been trying to get the omni king to you know, destroy some universes. He hasn't destroyed enough lately. I don't know. And he's happy that he's destroying. I don't know. Who, who knows? But guys, listen, I, I don't know if there's this big conspiracy going on here. I don't know if the, the angels are planning something. It sounds a little out there. It'd be cool if it was. It'd be cool if Toriyama actually really came up with that before all this. I mean, if that it does happen, it'd be an interesting next I, arc. I, I, I just say. don't know. How are they going to tie Goku in this? How are the, how are, how did the angels, because man- Goku was the guy who started this tournament, essentially. So some might say that it wasn't Goku who actually initiated the tournament, uh, but it, that it was the fight between Be- Beerus and Champa. Correct. Uh, basically, the Ani King showed up, and then uh, the Great Priest announced that he will actually start the tournament of power. Right. But Goku was the guy who really pushed the Omni King to do it, not the angelic beings. So that's kind of the interesting part there. Is is why was it Goku that really pushed for it to happen? If the angelic beings are, are throwing this plot out on it. So, key one reviews, guys. This is Vinny. And this is Joseph. We'll, we'll catch you guys next time.